what's up everybody welcome to no chill zone i am danny renee and i am here y'all with the uh, black history month video now i don't know if many of you know my girl trinae her and i have this thing where we get together and we cook during black history month and so every year it obviously gets better the food tastes even better and we were able to not only the both of us get together but we invited some of our other girlfriends over and got together y'all and when i tell you the magic and energy that flows up and through this place well <laughs> you'll see look what we created so i just am so proud of my culture you know it goes from bermuda it goes from africa um my culture is inspires me every day inspires me to be the strong woman that i am uh, when I think of my culture, I think of my grandpa in the kitchen cooking food. When I think of my culture, I think of my mom braiding my hair when I was younger to now to me, you know, putting braids in my own hair to me even, you know, wanting to emulate fashion from the 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, black history is deep. We are not picking up where we left off, we are brushing it under the rug I crocheted years ago. Don't you feel childish painting that flower on your canvas, craving ice with sugar, hoping your teeth will last until that one cleaning allowed on your insurance. Every two years, she thinks too hard and thinks this song is about her. Truth is, no one is listening to the radio. Truth is, someone is. She turns to face the wall and her tears escape. This is not about sadness. This is about how we couldn't always ask God for Tylenol. How freedom was guaranteed after death. So she packed her bags one night, went out to the woods and tried to remember herself. She found her tongue when she licked the stem of the elderberry. Walked down to the river, shed her clothes, looked at her body, sunk into herself, pressed her hands against her bosom, floated on top of her reflection. Grief heightening her orgasm and her head fell back as she let mother nature baptize her. What happens when Niagara Falls? Black is lit, like it's strength, it's courage, it's sensitive, it's gentle, it's so beautiful, it's complex. Like being black is so many things, we're not just one type of thing, we're so many various, there are so many various things that make up um, just being black and the essence of that is just magic. It's, if we can say one word, it's magic. We exude magic. We exude light. We exude love. And just, I love being black. I love waking up every morning looking at my melanin skin, looking at my pearly whites, um, looking at the coils in my hair. I love that. I love walking around and seeing how magical I am and seeing other people see how magical I am and knowing like, dang, I wish I could be that magical. Black is unique, and we are the only ones with this hair, we are the only ones with this skin, we are the only ones with these bodies that are beautiful, and we get a lot of flack for it, but we love ourselves, even when other people don't. We stand up for ourselves, we stick together, even when we don't. <laughs> and yeah, and that's why we are unique, we are beautiful, and we're forever gonna be beautiful, we're not going anywhere. Black is beautiful, black is strong, black is rooted, black is royalty, black is the beginning, black is the end, black is almighty.